Hello, I'm David and I'm here today to show you how we can track the paint off of the concrete onto the fragments of this groundbreaking effect. The secret weapon is hidden up in the window tab, just click on the content aware fill. Usually we use the fill tool to paint out objects, but today the fill method needs to be changed to surface. Quick explanation, the way this works is that when we hit the generate button, any transparent areas on the image are going to be filled in. For this example, we want to fill in the crack effect with the surface of the ground. We also want the surface of the ground to follow the fragments of the effect. This can be done by tricking the fill tool into believing that the cracking layer is part of the footage. To do all of this, we'll start by duplicating the effect. By setting the top layer's blend mode to Silhouette Alpha, we're creating the transparency. If you think about it, we still have the colour and motion information of the effect in the second layer, it's just being hidden. Let's pre-compose this and move our marker to the beginning. You'll want to create a reference frame right here. Photoshop may open, but we can just close it. Smack the generate button and after a few minutes, take a look at what's happened. In my attempt, I have some colours leaking from the van, but this can be hidden by selectively desaturating certain colours. Copy the original effect from your pre-comp and slap it on top. Set the blending mode to multiply and use a curves effect to bring back the shading. From here you can make any final adjustments, but you've basically done it. So as a reminder, let's go through it again. We need our reference frame to be generated before the effect begins. To help out with the tracking, I'm just increasing the contrast so there are more details to follow. Duplicate the effect and set the blending mode to Silhouette Alpha. Pre-compose everything, double check the footage and hit generate and we've made our concrete turn to jelly. To bring the shadows back, duplicate the original effect and set the blending mode to multiply. Kaboom, done! We're not limited to just debris. You can check out any effect from Production Crate and do the exact same steps. For example, I'm going to use the zombie and track it into the video. By following the same methods with our duplicated silhouette layer, we're given something that looks pretty interesting. As always, feel free to ask any questions in the comments. Go have fun and remember to make it awesome.